All right. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be going over making uh, windows on your freighter. So here's a little preview what you might end up with. Uh, so let's go ahead and just get started. So here's the wall that we're going to be putting our window in. First thing I'm going to do is grab a room and just attach it to that wall. Just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this flat, uh, straight white decal right here. Grab that. I'm going to look up at the ceiling here and shrink it down as small as it goes. And just build it right here on the ceiling. The next part I'm going to grab here is going to be this freighter cross junction right here. And I'm going to do the universal adjacency glitch with this freighter room. If you don't know how to do that, there'll be a link in the description to a Beeblebum video uh, that will explain it. So I'm going to go ahead and store that in my cache. And then I'm going to duplicate this decal right here. Now I'm going to go and find the seam between those two rooms. So here's the seam right here. And then I'm going to go one tile in from that seam. Right here, right to the exact center of these tiles right here, right at this tile intersection. Right here, I'm going to make this decal parallel with the uh, room here. That's looking pretty good. Let's try that. We'll go ahead and place this here. Boom. So now we have a small freighter cross junction upside down right there. So next I'm going to delete that room we initially created. Then I'm going to pick up the room it was attached to and I'm going to place it back right where it was. And there we see a doorway now. So here's a doorway. You can do as you wish with that. Um, to get this window effect we see over here, all I'm going to do is use this flat panel here. Come over like this. Just rotate it till it looks good to me. There we go. And I pull it forward like this. And I've just been placing it here like this. Then I'll switch to delete and switch back so I'm back on it. Then I'll place one here like this. And then if I fly outside and underneath it, I can place two on the bottom like this. One, two, fly back inside here. Now I'll delete the first two. And if I place that, uh, place one right on top of that remaining flat panel there, it should line up nicely just like this. And now we get a nice little windowsill there. At this point, I would go ahead and place anything you want on that windowsill because once we place the window, you won't be able to put anything else. So I'll just place a few little bottles here as an example. And then for the window, I'm using this wall screen here. I place it like this. We can go ahead and just rotate this uh, like this. Oh, but the other way so that the screen faces the outside. Like that. Grow it up. And I like to grow it up to a size where the little blue gradient is still visible there. Kind of like that. And then go ahead and pick how big you want your window sill to be. That looks pretty decent to me. I'll place it. And there we go. There's the window. And you can see the little stuff on the sill there. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. 
Um, I want to give a special thanks to Kale Labs. He discovered that you could flip the freighter room upside down and the glitch would still open the door. So super cool. Thanks to Kale for that. And thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good day. All right. Bye-bye.